Hello guys, welcome to Digital Learners. So today in this session we are going to draw the another object on a PTC Creo parametric. So that is part. I am taking a new working sheet and part and subtype is solid. I am naming this top assembly. So before going to this, I want to show whatever that. So this is the today session we are going to draw this top assembly. So maybe if this video is so one or two parts, not in single part. We have to do it's very uh, long taking time. So this is the first part, and uh, in this we having a totally. You can see this in two D, seven parts. Sorry, eight parts. So each an individual part we can draw separately, and then we can combine those all. So at first we can draw this uh, plate. Uh, you to uh, that is that name is bracket. So these are the dimensions. So I am starting with a bracket dimensions of bracket. So I am copying this name. So name is bracket. Okay. And common name for all this is STOQ stop assembly. Stop assembly. Okay. So this is our working environment. I am going to take and first. So here we are going to before going to the top view, we have to draw the print view first. We have we have to give a first preference to the print view. So in print view we can easily understand and easily drawing it is. So I am going to the print view. In print view there is a uh, YouTube uh, shape. So I am drawing this. Now I am going to create. Yeah, going to print view. So this is print view. I am taking extrude. And in this extrude, uh, so it will arrange all these sketches spots. So now I am going to again print view. Or you can simply just place this. Uh, Whatever it calls sketch view, yeah. So we can just simply click sketch view, it will automatically it will redirect into this way. So I am taking a line, so no need to mention the dimensions at first in the preview. So, so sorry, before going to this, I am taking this uh, reference lines. I forgot this. So, uh, first, taking this uh, center line from starting to one using this point and on x axis, y axis. Okay. So we having center lines on x-axis and y-axis also. So now I am taking that uh, rectangle, sorry, not rectangle, line, line. So drawing a horizontal line and vertical line. Again a horizontal line. Again a vertical line which is having similar length with uh, this side line. Yeah, that is left side line. So this is and similar length to left side horizontal line. Okay. So now uh, the length of this is totally 950 and this uh, distance between these two lines is 375 so i am going to this this is 375 and center is 375 by 2 total length that is i am taking normal from this point to center line So I think it is not taking this time. Okay. Just leave it this. So I am taking this high D. So high D totally 283. So we want to remove this thickness. Uh, now that is 30. So we have to decrease 30 from 2. So 238 minus 30 is the height. So select 238 minus 30 is 208 is the height. So I am getting 208 by 2. So this length is totally 950 from here to here. That is 100 and sorry 475. So 475 minus so from this 187.5 so by clicking on this we get that 287.5 is now so from this point to this point it is 400 now okay we have completed this one now i have to click on okay so no solid geometry so i am clicking okay so it will con con uh, convert it into solid geometry now i am going to the Default operation. So 
welcome talking to the tattoo. Yeah. If I am going to print here. Okay. Now I am making a standard view. So this is need to change this. It is 300. So 300 and center. So this is uh, solid. So thickness is 30. That. So come. All the sides are okay, perfect with a thickness of uh, 30 and with a width of 300 and length is uh, 950. We have obtained an object, so I simply click on OK. Now move to top view. Sorry, it is bottom view, I think. So we are at the top view now. I am going to take these two holes. So, taking extrude command that is full length inserting. So, remove from the removal of material on this axis. I am going to take a circle on this line. So, there is two circles. So, this length is diameter is 50, and from here to 150 and here to 120. So select from here the diameter is 50 here to 150 from on y direction and it is 475 minus 120. So uh, by applying parallel this line is parallel to this line. So 355. Okay now okay we have all those and click on okay again I am taking extrude. So if you want to put no need to exclude, you just simply click on placement, define and click on stop and save. So if you click on those, then you can simply use sketch view. So this is our sketch. Now I am taking a circle. So okay, first circle and second circle and one more circle. So a circle is an hole for the whole purpose which uh, diameter is 75 and one side is 225. So, first one is 75 the diameter, second one is 175 diameter, and third one is 225. Now, just simply click on OK and make this hole extrude into with the height of. Uh, Totally from here to here 170, so from minus 30, 170 minus 30, it is 140. 140 and click on. So one for this. So, so one for uh, we need to hold, one for, for our both sides. So this is not well, again. I am taking this placement, define, top view, sketch. So taking first circle circle with a radius of 50 sorry not 50 with a radius of 75 so click on ok and want to drill from here remove material so ok again again we are going to take extrude and I am going to placement define top view sketch so circle, first line circle and second circle. Select first circle diameter is 175, second circle diameter is 225, and click on both and x2 with the length of 140. 170 minus 30 is 140. So it is on top. So okay, click on OK. Now we are going to print view. So I think yeah. It is taken 140 from here, so we need to so 
we have taken that uh, code from here so the it will take uh, from here so it is data line so it is wrong control z i'm going to x2 the top two and view mode view mode just simply going to top so we are at top view Answer yes. Now we have to select this plane. So circle. No. Yeah, it is from this plane. Okay, select diameter of 175 for circle and second circle diameter is 225. Now I'm going to print in. So it will correct. So I am getting a default view on OK. So in this extra 170 minus 30. So it is 140. Okay. Click on OK. Now we want to give the finish uh, is a uh, edges are very curved. So by using select tool we can trim this into round. So this two inners and this two outers are 20 and remaining opposite four is 50. So taking round tool selecting this 20 and in row we have sets so uh, moving into from this and this and finally this one so four sets in set one set two all the four are in 20 diameter 20 now I am taking new set selected item is this with a 50 so control 1 2 and 3 and 4 tone so this is 4 tone yeah I'm going to print it. So we have this. Okay. That. So we have drawn this. Now we have to save this. On desktop, we have created a folder in this top assembly with the name of bracket. So now we are going to new one. So pot solid. Okay. Now going to extrude and place name define from print view sketch make it a, a sketch view so we have drawn this now we have to draw this second part that is from print view it is one there is two circles and one rectangle so we want to take these two circles so first we want to draw the rectangular rectangle Then we go to the circle. Okay. Now take an rectangle from this point to two with a horizontal symmetric. So for applying symmetric purpose, we need to take a center line, center line one on each direction and one direction. Now I am taking the light. So these two are symmetric on vertical. So now horizontal also symmetric. Taking circle and one circle. And another set. Now select OK. So the length of this uh, total rectangle is uh, 325 into 2, that is 650. So this length is 650. So this is 650 by 2, and vertical height is 32. And the circle is with a diameter of 150 and another one is radius 106 so in a circle which is 150 diameter and outer circle with a 106 radius sorry, 106 radius into 2 is the diameter now this distance so the distance from this 
topmost line to this the central axis line is 132 so after removing the 32 thickness that is from this line to the center point is 100 so from this line to center point is 100 okay now i am going to take a line from center of this into tangential lines and similarly i am going to draw another line on this side so which is tangential this yeah after this by using fillet command Moving away this to our to outside because yeah I am using fillet command fillet without the uh, yeah, circle tree and first circle first line second line so it is removing this portion so again I am taking to line from this point to this point okay now I am going to fillet cutting line one cutting line two. So taking parallel to this fillet and this fillet. So fillet radius is uh, 50. 50 is the fillet radius by applying the 50 fillet radius. Now removing this portion for this, we need that uh, delete segment too. So delete this arc and this arc. Click on select. Rotating this. This side. Okay. Now, so we have drawn this uh, circular and rectangular lines. Okay, we have completed this. Now we have to go to click on okay, just one more reject. So, okay, that was completed. Going to click on OK. And by selecting on both sides with the diameter is 250, sorry, with the width of 250. Width of 250. So, there is no more thickness because it is an enclosure solid. And it is a solid, so click on OK. Now, okay, again taking extrude, placement, define, that is top view, okay, and sketch view. Now we are at the top view, so in top view, we are going to make a four holes with a diameter of 25. So I am going to take a circle from here, circle 1, circle. Circle 3 and circle 4. No. So, before going to this, I am taking only two circles. Before going to take a circle, I am applying center line that is a reference line. Okay, now I am taking circle, it will decrease the time and zoom in. So, taking select with the diameter of diameter of the circle is 25 and so from here to here so total is 250 by 250 it is 125 125 minus 62.5 so 125 minus 62.5 that is 62.5 and this distance is so total it is uh, 650 650 by 2 is 325 325 minus 75 is the distance so 325 minus 75 that is 250. Now, now I am applying that uh, mirror command, mirror tool. So, uh, yeah, here it is available. So, we just simply select this whole mirror on this axis. Now, again selecting these two lines, two circles, applying mirror, this one. So, we have drawn those four lines, sorry, four circles. Now, click on OK. Uh, it is on both. Delete. Solid. So flip, removing that is a piece. I'm going to I'm going to default operation view. So just yeah, remove material. So the material was removed. So click on OK. If you want to check, going to simply go to top. So these are the four holes. Okay. So we have completed this one and this one. Now we are going to see the third one. So the name of this is pivot. I am saving this as pivot. Why save as the name of file means pivot. Okay. So 
percent yes okay now we are going to make third one that is new support so new support taking new file that is what i'm solid and the name is new support click on ok now what is new support you have to take uh, friend view that is extra command next to placement define friend view go to and sketch view now i am taking a line with a u shape one vertical line and one horizontal line and another vertical line with the first vertical line and the second vertical line both the same length okay so it is better to make this in one surface here So we have found that uh, u-shape and this length is 360 total so by removing this 30 on this side 30 on this side it, uh, there, which is 300 300 in the width and 300 by 2 that is 150 and height is and the height of this sorry height of this is in showing in next figure that is 380 and plus 140 is the radius of this we have two methods to form this we can follow the second method it is user to use for the 3d diagrams so i am taking that uh, 380 plus 140 so i am taking this as zero so not zero i think it is plus 140 yeah this is also some 380 plus 140 now uh, now we have to form the uh, this side yeah and this side we are going to click on ok so non-solid so we have to form the solid with the uh, depth is Totally 140 because arc length or arc uh, radius also 140. So I am giving as 140. Not 140 it is 280. So in default operation is 280 from front view. So it is better to move on to right view. Yeah, it is 280. Now with the thickness is 30. So again I am going to front view. So this is 30. Now click on OK and move to right view and applying row before going to this. Make a default operations and again take a row in this step, new step. Only in single set. So again, take a round set. Select this with the first one. We have to make a full round. So that way, select this and controls select. Make a full round. So similarly, this side also select this and this make a full round. So it is full round. It is a 140. Now, click on OK. Now, going to extrude command and uh, we are going to put on surface. So, double click on the surface, take a circle and from center and draw a circle, select with the uh, length is 280 by 2, that is 140. From the diameter is 75. And now click on OK. Extrude, extrude length is 325. So on default orientation, we have observed this. <coughs> okay, click on OK. Now make sure we want to form these two holes here. So I am moving to the right side more. So making extrude placement define right side edge. So before going to this, uh, for easy purpose, we need 
to change a small thing things so that is going to extrude and placement define on the right side text we are applying references so references for this circuit close so it is uh, easy to find out our center point so circle this is center point so select with the diameter is whole diameter is 50 on OK, making it to a uh, number of layers, in default operations, so it is better to apply both sides, so that 300 is, so total this length is 360, so we are applying to 360. to remove this material and click on ok and now we are to fillet this edges so for this go to sketch view and plane is front edge now go into fillet option this is a fillet option I am taking is not possible in this station sorry in this uh, direction so I am going to make texture placement texture we are going to make that as a round we are going to set ok diameter is 50 so in this set and before going to this we enter the first diameter that is 20 on this first set first line first edge Second edge, so these are two edges with a diameter of 20. And next, take a new set with the 50 is the radius, and first one, and second one. Now I'm going to front view, so it forms two edges. Click on OK. So I'm going to save this support so click on okay 